Chef, what should one do when he's facing with the height and sustenance? When he's sitting with? When he's facing, facing with the height and sustenance. He's unable to find a good job, uh, even though after trying a lot. What should one do when he's facing with the, the height and the sustenance? Okay, so if someone is suffering from lack of a, a, a suitable job, lack of provision, uh, difficulty in uh, um, uh, gaining sustenance, he has to acknowledge the following. Number one, there is no one who is razaq provider other than Allah. And no one, no Muslim has any doubt in that. So you have to have the conviction, not the knowledge. Because everyone knows, that, but not everyone has the conviction and the belief. So you have to acknowledge that Allah is the Razzaqul Kareem. Number two, you have to acknowledge and believe that before you were born, when you were 120 days old in your mom's womb, when you were four months old in your mother's womb, an angel asked Allah Azza wa Jal about your provisions and Allah told him and he wrote it down. And before that, 50,000 years before Allah created the universe, Allah had your provisions written in the preserved tablet. So no matter what you do, whether you walk on water, fly in air, nothing would come your way except what Allah has prescribed for you. Thirdly, you have to understand that Allah tests us with different tests. And life doesn't go on a steady pace. There are ups and there are downs. So if you reflect upon your previous years, you will find that there were so many ups and very few downs. But due to our human nature, we tend to ignore, neglect, or forget the ups. And all what we remember are the downs. When we fell sick, when we fa uh, faced hardship, a true believer always acknowledges Allah's favors and blessings. And he's always optimistic. And he's always positive. When the night is the darkest, this is when the dawn is about to break. So be optimistic. And think positively of Allah Azza wa Jal. Make a lot of dua in your sujood and between adhan and iqamah and in the last third of the night. Knock on all doors because this is part of taking the means and be certain and sure that Allah will soon grant you what you wish and more than that.